Learning macOS is straightforward. The first thing is to get familiar with the interface of Mac computers. At first sight, the desktop, menu bar, and dock are visible. Finder can be seen on the left side of the dock. Finder is something like Windows Explorer in Windows. You can access your files and apps through it. The first difference with Windows is the menu bar, which is not attached to itself but placed on top of the desktop. The second difference is the three keys, close, minimize, and maximize, which can be seen on the top and left side. You can see the sidebar on the left side of the finder, used for quick access to folders and frequently referenced places on your computer. Above the finder is a toolbar that allows you to change the view type and arrange the items inside the window. Using the control key and clicking on the toolbar, you can customize it according to your needs and by drag and drop method. Select Finder and Settings from the menu bar to personalize the Finder. In this section, you can add or remove items in the sidebar. Or set the Finder's default folder in the General tab. Or choose what items to display on the desktop. The things mentioned in this video are so you can use your Mac computer now. Each of these will be explained in more detail in future videos. Subscribe and don't miss them. Moving files and folders in Finder is done by drag and drop method. Using the combination key Command and N, you can open another window to drag and drop files between them. One of the features of macOS is that you can use drag and drop almost everywhere, in Finder, for personalization or other things. Drag, drop, drag, drop, drag, drop. If you want to have a copy of your file through drag and drop, use the Option key. The Option key is the same as the Alt key in Windows. Another way is to copy and paste. That's the combination key, Command-C for copy, and then command V for paste. Another method is control click combination keys. But wait, it's better to activate the right click for your mouse, which is available from the settings section. Select the mouse from panel and activate the right click. Now you can have all those options with right click, except for cut because there is no cut in macOS. As you have noticed by now, there is a key called Command on Mac computers, which has the same role as the Control key in Windows. It means all the things you used to do in Windows with the help of Control, now you have to do it with Command. If someone wants to customize the keyboard like Windows, can do it from the keyboard settings in the system settings, which of course it's not recommended. You can create a new folder by right-clicking on the desktop or Finder and selecting New Folder. And to rename the file or folder, use right-click for rename. Use Move to Trash to delete. If you delete something by mistake, right-click on the file from Trash and select Put Back. Another practical option is the Preview, which, by selecting items in the Finder or Desktop and pressing a space, will be displayed in large size. And by using arrow keys, you can see the rest of the files inside that folder. To close it, press a space again. The status bar, which can be activated from the view section, displays information about the existing folder. The path bar shows the complete path of the folder, and by clicking on any part of the path, you can enter that part. In general, the menu bar is specific to the app in use. By opening any app, the corresponding menu bar is displayed. The only thing always constant is the Apple sign through which you can access options such as computer information, restart, and shutdown. Another option is force quit, which is for closing applications, especially those that freeze. In most cases, using the X sign at the top of the window is insufficient, and we have to click on the app name to close it. Small icons provide quick access to some application options on the right side. Some apps are only available in this section. 
One of the most essential features of this section is the control center. Gives you quick access to key macOS settings such as AirDrop, Wi-Fi, or Focus. You can customize the control center to add other items such as accessibility shortcuts, battery status, or fast user switching. On your Mac, use a stage manager to keep the app you're working with front and center and your desktop clutter-free. Your recently used apps are neatly arranged along the left side of the screen for quick access, while the window you're working with is positioned in the center of the screen. Arrange, resize, and overlap windows in your ideal layout. The dock is located at the bottom of the desktop. A set of application shortcuts, trash, and downloads folder together for quick access. By opening any app, a dot is placed below it, which is indicates that the app is open. Just drag the app from the Applications folder to the dock to put it on it. If you open any app, even if it's not on the dock, its icon will be there until we close it. To delete an app from the dock, drag it up and release it. Many changes can be made to the dock. You can enlarge or reduce them like this or apply more changes from here such as magnification rollover. The next thing is the spotlight, always available in top right, a quick tool to find anything inside the computer and the internet. If you are looking for an application, a file, or anything else in your computer, or if you want to search about a topic, click on this magnification glass and type part of the topic into it. If I type TER, it will immediately recognize the terminal and the terminal will open by pressing return. Another option for quick access to apps is Launchpad, which has its key on the keyboard. And at first glance, it's something similar to the applications on the iPhone. With a long click, the icons will start to vibrate. And in this mode, you can perform actions such as deleting, moving, or grouping them, just like the iPhone. All macOS computers required settings are in the system settings section, from general settings and wallpaper to security and network. Just click on the option you want so that its settings will appear next to it. For example, if you click on the mouse settings, you have settings such as speed, scroll direction change, enabling the second click, and settings related to the touch of the mouse, which is related to zooming or swiping. Or, if you want to type in a language other than English, you can add them from the keyboard and then text input. To switch between two languages, you can do this from the menu bar or use the combination keys Control space Ultimately, you can use Safari browser to utilize the internet, the default browser in Apple devices. If you set your Apple ID account in the System Settings section, your Mac and iPhone Safaris will sync. In fact, by setting Apple ID in Apple devices, they work seamlessly and make it easier for you.